daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Tuesday, October 8th, 2013. Well, a change of trend today and the candle has made a higher high and a higher low. The candle we're analysing is the second last candle on this chart. Previous day's candle we had a downtrend in place and we had a potential Japanese candlestick Harami reversal pattern. We have had confirmation of that pattern. We were looking for a higher high and a higher low and that's occurred today, so a change of trend confirmed. Having said that, however, this change of trend has occurred on a very indecisive spinning top type candle and does raise serious doubt about whether this trend will continue to the upside. The spinning top type, type candles are candles of indecision because they generally have a small body and a large shadow on the top and the bottom and uh, this candle uh, shows the large shadow uh, representing the buyers uh, being rejected from the resistance of 136.14 and the sellers being rejected from support around the Tenkinsen at 135.60 and the support around the 135.49 level. Considering that the, uh, that the buyers are failing to support the trend to the upside, it does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend to the downside. So we are looking for a lower high and a lower low, but we do need to consider that we have very, very solid support just below the tech and at the 135.49 level that was previous uh, resistance in the near past and then major support in the near past, so a very solid area. If we do see a bearish close down below there and early bearish activity below there, we could quickly see the market testing to the 134.85 level. Now in terms of patterns in this market, and here we have a uh, type of uh, pennant pattern that's formed. Here we have the prior uptrend in this market, not a substantial uptrend leading into the pattern. The pattern uh, c congestion does look a little bit too uh, large for the prior trend leading into it, but really what the story here is about is the congestion and the converging of the uh, highs and lows within this pattern. Pendant patterns tend to form rather quickly and that's what we've seen here and uh, they form over a very tight range and uh, we've pretty much seen that and uh, they tend to be continuation patterns so the uh, more likely direction of breakout would be here to the upside and what we're looking here for confirmation of the pattern would be a close above the pattern or below the pattern and a close above the upper barrier of the pattern would uh, confirm this pattern as a continuation pattern. So uh, that would be in line with what we're seeing with Ichimoku, with the trend being uh, up in each of the uh, three time frames. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension, and here today, as we've seen this market rally and change trend, we've seen the market test exactly to the 38.2% level and be rejected from there on an indecisive spinning top type candle. And this suggests that there is a very real possibility of a change of trend to the downside today. In fact, already with this current candle as it's developing, this one that hasn't uh, finished trading, we are seeing the market test to that 38.2% level again and be rejected from there. So that suggests that there is a good possibility of this market coming off. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, and uh, here uh, also with this technique, we've seen the market test to the important 61.8% level through the 50% level, through the 38.2% level, be rejected from all of those areas and failing to close above those areas on this indecisive spinning top candle, suggesting a very real possibility of a change of trend, so we are looking for confirmation of that. So the low of the current candle becomes very important, bearing in mind, however, that we do have solid support at that low. Now in terms of Ichimoku, obviously a bullish market in all three time frames. The market's trading above the cloud, so we're bullish in the long-term time frame, bullish in the medium-term time frame by trading up above the Kujin Sen, but that Kujin Sen is pointing flat, and we have seen price action attracted back towards that flat Kujin Sen, which is uh, something that tends to happen when the Kujin Sen turns flat. And the market is also now trading above the Tenkan Sen, the green line here, and has been trading above there for quite some time. And this uh, really does highlight uh, how important the Tenkan Sen is, that the sentiment in that long-term time frame is still with the buyers, and the Tenkan Sen has been acting as an area of support for the past three consecutive trading days, and suggests that if we do see a close
close down below that 10 contain, we could see a significant change in sentiment in this market and uh, really a, a signal that the market may end up trading to lower levels. But at the moment, that area is holding a strong support and moving forward tomorrow will be a very important area as well. Looking across at the chicka span, that's above the corresponding price action, so it's confirming the bullishness that we're seeing in all three time frames. And in line with the small pennant pattern that we saw form, all of this is suggesting that the more likely breakout will be above the upper barrier of that pennant pattern, giving us completion of a, uh, a, uh, a pennant pattern. And we, what we want to see is a close up above there. And we would like to see a close up above the 136.14 level and a bullish close. If we see that uh, happen, we could quickly see the market testing up to the 137.10 level. And all of that would be in line with the Ichimoku indicators uh, alerting us to bullishness in all three time frames. But we can't preempt the market. What we have to do is react to how the market behaves around those barriers and the support and resistance areas. And let's not preempt the market. So here, whilst we're trading within this congestion zone and below the 136.14 level of uh, resistance and above the 135.49 level of support, it's really a neutral area for us. And we don't want to re really be uh, taking or initiating any new positions within this area. Let's wait for a break out in either direction.